So for those of you who don't know, there is a controversy going on with Pokemon in a game called Power World. Mm. why Power World take, took off so much is because Pokemon does not have a true blue Steam and PC presence like the fans would want. So Power World filled in that gap and there is some eerie similarities between Power World and Pokemon. So let me let you know something about copywriting. So copyright is very, very, uh, you know, tricky at times. You cannot copyright a concept but you can copyright exact characters and models. So the concept of a Pokemon, like you know, you being able to catch monsters, you can't necessarily copyright that, but you can copyright the actual characters and figures and things like that. So even still, Power World is this very, very dangerously really close to infringing on Pokemon's rights, in my opinion, and I do feel like what, in are, you US, what are you doing? Maybe not in a foreign country, because this is a global release, so they may be good in other countries, but in America, I believe that they are infringing on Pokemon's rights, but that's just me. So Power World is this PC game where you can essentially describe it as Pokemon's with <laughs> There's actually a lot more mechanics than just that. You can actually build stuff. Your Pokemon can build stuff. You can build assembly lines. You can fight the Pokemon yourself with your own weapons. And your Pokemon can, well, your Power World monsters, I call them Pokemon, but your Power World monsters can actually fight with weapons with you and fight alongside you, which I think is a very, very interesting take on something that expanded upon Game the Freak's Pokemon, the um, you know, change. mechanics. I and the I really think the they world. are going to get a they... lot of money in the interim because they have made a lot of money. I'm going to put up the exact numbers here. But I think it's anywhere from like seven million to like ten million dollars in a day something crazy but pokemon i used to work for pokemon so i know for a fact that pokemon is getting on a different scale i used to work for the trading card side and customer service um you know doing a contracting thing for them i uh, can't really talk too much about their practices i'm still bound by non-disclosures and they're a very powerful company so i do not want to do anything to violate that but i can tell you that pokemon is very powerful financially and they're not gonna or Nintendo here to loves to just somebody and every on their trademarks and oh, copyrights. Uh... So personally I believe that Power World is too close to their designs and figures that in a court in a US court they can prove infringement in my eyes. So they're only gonna be able to get the money while they can and I think they might lose it all in a battle in, in court with Pokemon. You cannot beat this the jillion dollar company like this. I don't think so. So I want to know your opinions. Have you tried Power World yet? Do you know the figures? Have you seen the games? And I want to know, do you really think that this game is going to last? Probably not. And if you got to the end of this video, I want to thank you because that that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say about Power World versus Pokemon. And again, we do got those links in the description. We have a new partner that offers hunting cams, dashboard cams, and body cams. Every driver should have at least a dashboard cam, especially today where things are getting more and more crazier. And I believe that you having that dashboard cam can protect yourself from accidents, uh, police stops that you really don't feel like you should be being stopped for. And you can use that link in the description to go check out their sales. That really helps this channel because we are not monetized and they offered um, us you know to partner with us because you all really do engage and you really click and i do appreciate that so i thank you for doing that for us because companies notice that you all really engage with this channel so we appreciated it here at style brands from the bottom of my heart because you, you you all make me you know get offers from companies man at this level and it's amazing i appreciate y'all so we also have the benefit concert we're still throwing the date is going to be different because we missed the deadline but 
is still tax deductible. It's still going to happen if you give us the goal and it is going to be for a benefit concert to help people in Nashville, Tennessee to get off the streets because we're going to build a home and we're going to offer hygiene packs and it's all going to be in the name of Jesus. And I want to thank you for tuning in to Stop Vlogs. Make sure you drop a like, a comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you want me to talk about next. I'm a servant. I am here to serve at the highest level, entertain at the highest level. But I need you all to interact with me and tell me what you want. And I'll give it to you. So I want to thank you again. Thank you for tuning in. And we out. Gia, Gia, Gia.